Hello my lovelies Capricorn, this is going to be your week ahead forecast for the first week in October. We're going to see what's happening for you. Tomorrow on my YouTube channel I will have your monthly October forecast up for all the 12 zodiac signs, so check that out. Let's get you a song, let's see what the theme is for you this week. How do you sleep at night, Sam Smith? Hmm. There could be some deceptive energy around you at this time. I feel like there is something that you're kind of questioning, how in the world do you even function? Because I wouldn't do that to another person. What is this energy? Because I feel like it's something that we need to work on letting go. A lot of toxic cycles being broken. Yep, deception being illuminated. There's definitely something that's either manipulative in nature, deceitful in nature, lies, cheating, manipulation. Yeah, somebody's out here playing games. Magnus confirms that. So who's in your energy? Who is deceiving you? Is it a love partnership? Is it somebody that um, really is no good for you? I get the sense that you're dealing with a player and that deception is about to be found out. Don't let people lie to you, cheat on you, or manipulate you and think that it's okay. I feel like when this comes to light, you're literally going to be asking yourself, how do you sleep at night with all of the deception, all of the lies? They're showing me a spider web, so I feel like this person's going to get Get caught in their own um, web of lies and be exposed for all of the bullshit. It is a painful realization, unfortunately, either for you or for them, and I feel like a little of both, honestly. Whoever or whatever this is, um, you're going to be able to heal from this if you want to, so that's the big key there. But I feel like you're working towards healing from any sort of negative impact that this leaves on you. It does leave a mark, so it's really important that you work through this ending or this pain so that you can actually focus on healing. There's your new opportunities. All right, so... Spirit's trying to show you that there is abundance that's coming to you, that there are new opportunities, and this is literally seen as a gift from the universe. So realize that we're clearing the old contracts, we're clearing the old karma, we're clearing the negative energy, so we can finally get to our prosperity, so that's important. Could be new job opportunities, promotions, travel, uh, relocation, but I feel like you're going in a whole new direction to greener pastures. There is communication and it comes in quickly. Uh, if you've been waiting on results or communication that is happening, especially if you've been waiting to hear about a job, I feel like there's new opportunities that are coming in. Spirit's also cautioning to be careful that um, don't do business with anybody that's untrustworthy. If you're unsure, check the source. They're also saying um, check references, make sure it's a reputable company, but I feel like the deception is more your personal life than your work life coming through. Yeah. It's time to close these old chapters. Let go of the pain. Work on healing. Remember that this is living in survival mode. The Ten of Swords tells us there's a lot of backstabbing and betrayal, and it's time to walk away from that. I feel like this is an opportunity for you to focus your energy on you, where maybe you've given everything you had to other people. Now is the time to give some of that back to yourself. We're going to get out of survival mode. We're going to pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and remember when we hit rock bottom, the only direction left to go is up. Yep, exactly. You're about to see how beautiful life can be. You have a lot of new opportunities trying to come in, but spirit needs you to clear the energy first and let go of the past and the pain. The sun is a fresh start and a new beginning. It's happiness. It's literally seen as the happiest card in tarot. It's marriage. It's children. It's everything that you want coming in. There's new communication coming in. There's new work opportunities coming in. Can you see the good through all the bad and let go of the bad to get to the good? Have a wonderful week. We'll see you soon.